Stripe is a firm that creates internet economic infrastructure. Companies such as Facebook rely on the company's platform to authorize online fees and manage sophisticated global plans. It is extremely beneficial to small enterprises and young entrepreneurs. The company's goal is to assist more businesses in getting established and to increase the Internet's GDP. Stripe was founded by two brothers, Patrick Collison and John Collison. So, today let's have a look at the Collison brothers and story behind the founding of Stripe. Who are the Collison brothers? Stripe's co-founders, Patrick and John Collison, were born and raised in a remote area in Ireland. The older of the two, Patrick Collison, was a technical genius. At the age of 16, he was named Young Scientist of the Year for building a computer language and AI based on LISP, or LISP. He entered MIT at the age of 16, depending on the SAT he had passed when he was 13 years old. His brother John accompanied him to the United States, where they founded their maiden company, Octomatic, alongside Kulvir Tagar. They were accepted into the startup accelerator Y Combinator and sold the company for $5 million only 10 months later. So, what about Stripe? Stripe was co-founded by Patrick and John Collison. Patrick has been the company's CEO since 2010. On the other hand, John is serving as the president. John is also well known as the youngest self-made billionaire in 2016. The journey to Stripe John and Patrick started researching Stripe jointly in early 2010. Patrick was working on various side businesses at the time and they discussed why it was so challenging to receive payments online. They set out to address the challenge and see whether it could be made easy. They experimented with it, presented it to friends and observed how people connected with it over the following six months, iterating along the way. They had their initial transactions with the Y Combinator business named 280 North within two weeks of constructing the prototype. Stripe's first client, Ross Boucher, ultimately became one of the company's first employees. They weren't certain how huge the industry was or if they could give the user experience they desired at first. They also didn't know whether they could properly solve concerns like fraud, non-US payments, and tackling identical difficulties as PayPal in a more user-friendly manner. Stripe first collaborated with the payments business, but once they began to take it properly, they recognized that the only way to regulate the overall experience the way they desired was to manage all components of the process. They brought everything into the house with them. After six months, they realized they were onto something huge and could deliver the customer experience they desired. In the fall of 2010, both John and Patrick began focusing on it full-time. Although the business was still bootstrapped, the entrepreneurs realized that as a payment startup, they would require corporate credibility, which an investor could give. When they originally began building on the site, it was known as slash DEV slash payments. As you may expect, it caused some issues. The name was unpleasant to hear. Furthermore, most schemas do not permit slashers in corporate names, so they decided to make a change. At first, titles like Paystack and Paydemon were on the shortlist, but they finally began looking up whatever names they might imagine and evaluating what was available on the domain. Stripe.com was met with a cold reception at first, but over time it seemed to have a lot of energy and was not linked to any other company or brand. The domain registrant was an MIT alumnus and the following sale for thousands of dollars went off without a hitch. The very first designer approached the team in June of 2011, nearly 18 months after the firm's inception, and synchronized the brand and communication that runs across their product and site. Stripe Business Approaches The corporation is proud of its product business strategy. It enables businesses to conduct secure, quick and simple online payments. Stripe is actually a payment service that can be included in mobile apps and websites. Additionally, there is no monthly subscription and it is solely offered to businesses. 
Stripe offers fraud prevention and banking infrastructure that enables web-based payments. It prevents payment details from passing through the trader's server. Stripe is the only one that has accessibility to the information. This demonstrates that the app is secure and decreases the risk. The financial model is straightforward in this case. It makes money by charging fees to its clients. Fees are always calculated based on the amount of money paid. Since the beginning, the financial model has remained consistent. The company offers various packages for the specific products and imposes a 2.9% or 0.3% fee for each transaction. This is a set fee that is charged for every completed transaction made on their application. For foreign transactions, the corporation charges an additional 1% for a total of 3.9%. Competitors The firm's goal is to increase the GDP of the Internet. As a result of the relationships it has created with its clients, the company is rapidly expanding. Even throughout the pandemic, the firm earned $1 billion. Three months later, revenue had risen to $9 billion. Certainly, when you are developing at an incredible rate, you will have competition. And it is always difficult to keep ahead of your competitors. Stripe's major rivals are PayPal, Square and Adyen. PayPal is Stripe's main competitor. It was formed in 1998 and is located in San Jose, California. It is a public firm that works in the fintech industry. Square is another opponent of Stripe. Its headquarters are in San Francisco, California. Square, which was established in 2009, also operates in the fintech industry. Adyen is also considered one of Stripe's main competitors. Its headquarters are located in Amsterdam. The company was created in 2006 and works in the fintech area. Stripe vs PayPal Both PayPal and Stripe are widely used payment processing services. Although both organizations share commonalities, each platform is especially suitable for various company needs. Although both companies deal in internet payment processing, PayPal is ideally appropriate for tiny or new businesses just starting out, whereas Stripe is best suited for larger enterprises because it offers additional payment customization possibilities. Net worth of Collison Brothers Stripe has made both of the Collison Brothers, Patrick and John, billionaires and on their way to being multi-billionaires. Here's a fun fact. They each have roughly the same net worth of around $9.5 billion each. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.